Yo, what's up gangsters? A little bit of overview downstairs for y'all. Here's the downstairs. There's a labyrinth poster right there. The grind house, the mall rats. Got some nasty glare going on in here, but can't really do anything about that. Fear and loathing, the Scarface, everyone's gotta have the Ghostbusters poster. Look at that shit, that's dope. The Goonies, dazed and confused, gotta love it. Here's a gem of mine, the Back to the Future poster, you cannot go wrong. One of my favorite Coen Brothers movies of all time, The Big Lebowski, yeah. Friday the 13th, classic. Here's a couple Tarantino films that everybody knows about, not really much to say about them. Here's a painting I picked down, picked up in Toronto years ago of uh, Al Pacino from the from the Godfather. It's actually really cool. Uh, here is my home entertainment system here. I think that's a 52 Samsung surround, couple DVD player, Blu-ray player. The PlayStation 3. I have way too many DVD players in this house, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Here's a something my wife blew up. A poem that I wrote years ago for this book that I wrote. Uh, yeah, some pictures of Jay's players with us. There's my office space poster down here. So most of the Stanley Cups there. Yeah, I drink too much. Dawn of the Dead poster, Evil Dead, and the Halloween. There is a space down there which I am reserving for, possibly. Uh, Evil Dead 2 poster I would like to get. Which is really cool. All right, here's another little painting picked up in the streets of Las Vegas with my signature hieroglyphics because I'm a huge hip hop freak. Yeah, they paint that right on the streets. Everyone's seen those people do that stuff. All right, into the DVD room. Here's a couple posters up on the wall. Chud, I spit on your grave. Blood Feast, Necromantic, which is absolutely disgusting, but for some weird reason I enjoy enjoy that movie, House Thousand Corpse. There's a deep red poster back in there, Bad Taste. Yeah, dead and buried. And they're starting to come across come off the wall because this room is freezing in here. But you know how we do it. So, and over on this side here, what do we got? Audition, creep show. We got some really nasty glare in this room. Sorry for the glare. What do we got up here going on here? The Big Lebowski ball, Spike Lee, here's a few box sets. And to some TV DVDs during all the weed seasons. Dexter, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, which that show is absolutely friggin' hilarious. The why everyone knows about these shows, Kirby Enthusiasm, The Sopranos. Actually, here's that book I wrote that I was talking about. The Oz, Six Feet Under. All the Seinfelds, Californication, OC, Friday Night Lights. Cell Park, my favorite cartoon of all time. Family Guy, I used to love. It's getting pretty stale nowadays, I gotta admit. Not that much fun. Some other randoms down here. True Blood, Entourage. Still working on a lot of these seasons. I'm getting those uh, onto the DVDs. Here's my... Most of the Roger Corman... Uh, cult classic DVDs. I still got I got a few on order right now which is gonna fill the, the rest of the thing. I don't not much for Blu-rays. Um I don't know, I don't own that many to be honest. Some random box sets in here. There's a Bruce Lee box set, which I just saw and wet one. Um pretty cool stuff. Doesn't have Ender the Dragon in it. Some kids movies. Some random DVDs. Yeah I we even got the Freddy poster right there. And a Serbian film poster, which was straight out of Fangoria. I put it up because that movie is disturbing. Here's a couple bucks. That's a Born Ultimatum box, or Born Collection. Really dope stuff. All right, onto the DVDs. I got, I got a mess of DVDs in this room. This room is not done. Uh, I'm actually just in the process of reorganizing it, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to be putting stuff into my favorite directors and stuff, just to free up some space on the back wall here. Um, right here is actually just a bunch of uh, uh, Blue Underground releases, to be honest. Every movie in here is a Blue Underground release. Um, really, really big fan of Blue Underground. Um, I'm working on probably getting all of them. I think I have about 50 or 60 Blue Underground releases as of right now. Uh, here's some random horror stuff. Um, some stuff in here that I haven't seen yet, actually. Uh, and the other stuff I have watched. 
up into here. Box sets, starting with the Toxic Avenger. Howling Trilogy, which is a very odd trilogy because it's part uh, 3, 4, and 5. Or 3, 5, and 6, I mean. No part 4. It's very odd. Uh, the Owen box set. The 50 Horror Classics back there. The Blind Dead Collection, which everybody knows, which is really cool stuff. You can't uh, get enough of this one. Blue Underground, once again. Nightmare on Elm Street. The Zombie Packs, which um, these are actually kind of interesting because most people have... Most people have the uh, the individual wrapped ones. Um, kind of random. This one's in the slim line. Uh, just the discs are in here. Pretty cool stuff, though. Um, I was kind of hoping that these were... I ordered these online. I was hoping I was going to get the ones with the individual, but that's good enough. Whatever. The Puppet Master Box set. Friday the 13th. For itself, it's in a really cheap... Um, casing, but it's actually a really decent series. I, I didn't mind it. The Veal, The Exorcist. Put Blade up here because, well, it's Vampire Slain, Amityville Horror, and my Toxy box sets. Everybody's seen these. They're really cool stuff. So what do we got going on up in here? The top of this, the first part of this is actually just all random horror movies I have not put into order. Um, like I said, I some of the stuff is in order. Actually, most of it is. Um, yeah. So, all into here. Uh, it's all kind of a mess because I just pulled out all my Blue Underground releases and stuff. So, here we go. And like, this right here basically is where I had box sets. Uh, it's being filled up here with Fluchi. <laughs> Uh, Falchi stuff, um, Argento, yes, Troll and Troll 2, you can't go wrong. Uh, what have got Cemetery Matter there, actually, one of my favorite horror movies ever. I love that film. And all the Halloween films. And on and on and on. Pretty cool stuff here. Uh, and it goes all the way down to here. And then to these next two cases, I'm actually back up here because. Yeah, so that's the big thing right there. Um, the next two shelves actually are just uh, pretty much everything else that's not horror. Everything mixed up into one. I am on the process. You'll see all these box sets that are pulled out. Back to the Future. Um, my One of my favorite trilogies. Actually, my favorite trilogy of all time. Uh, basically going to be pulling out all these things and organizing them into this room somewhere. Just so I can free up some room, there's a Die Hard. The Godfather set back in the corner there. What do we got going on here? A bunch of other stuff. Here's the uh, the Sin City box set. Um, or basically just the extended cut of the movie. Really fun stuff. Really fun stuff. Revenge of the Nerds, yeah. You know how we do it. So, there's some beginning with Jenny Smith. But yeah, that's how we do it. Mm, what do we got? I think that's just about it. Citizen Kane, the 70th anniversary. Uh, Citizen Kane is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Non horror favorite movies of all time. If we were to actually name off my favorite horror movies of all time, which is definitely my, uh, my main focus of film this year, I think Dawn of the Dead is my favorite movie of all time. Uh, I actually have the the ultimate edition coming in the mail. Um, I just, for some reason, I never, I always never, I put it off. I just have this Anchor Bay release, which is actually really good though. That's probably the next best one to get. Um, that's definitely one of my favorite movies. Dead Alive is actually another one of my favorite movies. Peter Jackson's, um, basically gore fest. Uh, I love <sighs> Bad Taste, which I have somewhere. I don't even know where. That movie went to be honest. Like I said, I have a lot of movies that are randomly in here. Oh, actually, here's a copy down here. It's not the best transfer in the world, it's not the special edition, but I am gonna get that one day. Yeah, Choppy Mall. Here is a really cool movie, really fun stuff. Uh, some actually, some stuff I've just been watching lately. I've been watching a shit ton of Fulci movies. Um, it's basically my collection. Here's another really fun one. Night of the Creeps. That's pretty cool. 
These are probably some of the sickest movies ever made. Necromantic. Necromantic 2. I think I love that, uh, that cover art so much. Uh, yeah. Alright. I am rocking no shirt right now because I am a filthy pig. But that is my DVD room overview of it. There's a house on the house. Just break it down here. Still working on this room. As you can see in the top, it's just all filled with shot glasses and, and scotch. That's pretty much the majority of my life right now. <laughs> so that's the DVD room for all you people out there that are into movies like I am.